New from the brand you trust for commercial vacuums, the Sanitaire Canister Carpet Extraction Cleaner. This unit is shipped fully assembled. Cut the metal bands, straps, and remove from the shipping carton. Unpack the hose and nozzle assembly, then remove the unit and extension cord from the carton. The cleaning wand assembly is shipped in a separate carton. Unpack the wand assembly and remove from the carton. Now let's identify the parts on the Sanitaire Canister Carpet Cleaner. A handle is built in for easy transporting. The nozzle located towards the top of the cleaner is the hose inlet connection. On top of the unit is the recovery tank lid. In the back of the cleaner, above the handle, is the solution tank lid. The large valve in the front of the recovery tank is the drain outlet. A drain outlet diverter is included as a separate piece and packed inside the unit. Open the recovery tank lid on top of the unit and remove the drain outlet diverter for later use. The brass fitting near the bottom is the solution hose connection. There are two large rear wheels for easy maneuverability during use and transporting the cleaner up or down stairs. The two switches located on the front panel operate the vacuum motor and suction pump. The power cord includes a retainer to secure the cord connection. The hose and nozzle assembly includes a suction hose, solution line, and a 12-inch wide metal cleaning wand with built-in brass valve to release the solution. Now you are ready to use the canister carpet cleaner. Open the solution tank lid and fill with a mixture of water and extraction detergent. Do not overfill. Follow recommended mix ratio on extraction detergent label. Use only commercially available detergent intended for machine applications. Pre-spotters are applied directly to the surface being cleaned. Follow the directions on the pre-spot label. Push the hose coupling into the hose inlet. Give a slight twist to secure. Attach the solution hose fitting. Next, attach the hose and solution fitting to the wand. Make sure the quick connects snap together firmly. Attach the power cord to the extension cord provided. Now plug in to a grounded outlet. Use the handle to push the cleaner to the location to be cleaned. Turn on both the pump and vacuum motor switches. Position wand over a bucket or drain and press the trigger on the solution wand until there is a continuous flow of water. The pump will activate only when pressing the trigger on the solution wand. Your pump is now primed and ready to use. With the cleaning nozzle, you may begin cleaning. By pressing the trigger, you will dispense the solution onto the desired area. Use a backstroke motion. Because the vacuum is on, the fluid will quickly be sucked back into the wand. Clean approximately three running feet at a time. Make several dry passes over the affected area to completely remove any excess moisture. You will notice the area cleaned will be damp. This is normal. For cleaning up accidental spills, use a cloth or paper towel to absorb as much as possible before final cleaning with a pre-spotter. Apply the pre-spotter following the directions on the label. As the tank fills with liquid, the ball float inside the recovery tank rises until it seats itself against the motor inlet. When this happens, the motor sound changes to a higher frequency pitch and the unit will not have any suction. Turn off the power switch and empty the recovery tank. To empty the tank, lift the hose to drain any excess liquid back into the tank. Attach the drain outlet diverter to the drain outlet to direct the dirty water into a large bucket. Position a bucket under the drain outlet and pull upwards on the T-handle to open the drain outlet and drain the contents. When the bucket is full, press down on the T-handle to close the outlet and empty the bucket. If a bucket is not used, remove the solution line and hose before emptying the tank and attach the drain outlet diverter. Transport the unit to a toilet bowl or other suitable drain and empty the contents by pulling upwards on the T-handle to open the drain outlet. Check the level of solution in the solution tank and continue cleaning. When completed, empty both tanks. To empty the solution tank, open the solution tank lid, place the suction hose into the tank and turn the suction motor on. Once the solution tank is empty, use the drain outlet to empty the recovery tank. Remove hose and solution line. 
Clean and dry the tank body and accessories before storing. We hope you enjoy using the new sanitary